Youth of the Beast, Youth of the Beast. This is an awesome movie, although halfway through it, I lost track of the whole damn plot. I guess that means I'll just have to buy it again when the next sale comes along. Yeah, something like that. Hello there, Nate Jackson, the Criterion Collection viewer guy here with number 260, number 260, what's this, 267? 267, I believe it's 267. 267! Seijin Suzuki's Youth of the Beast. It's a Suzuki weekend this week. Weekend. Um, this is our third movie, our first movie since uh, Branded to Kill and Tokyo Drifter in the first season. Uh, but certainly not our last. Um, and But although miles better than the first two. Um, I don't know what it is. I think it's just the plot. The plot's really, it's a really interesting plot. And Suzuki just nails it, and that's not much to say about this one, so we're going to keep it pretty short. 1963, 90 minutes, uh, Japanese, you know, that kind of thing. So, yeah, there's not much to say. I'll just give you the basic plot. It's about a guy named Joe, who is a, you know, this guy who works for, who gets himself tied in with these, um, there are these two gang, mem gang gangs fighting each other. Gets, in tied, gets tied in, roped in with one, but then is also working for the other. And bounce him back between the two, and I think at one point he actually makes it quite clear that he's just he he needs the money. He's just working for the money, you know. He doesn't mind betraying, you know, each one and playing playing each gang against the other to you know so that he can make more money and all that and just that stuff. And there's drugs involved, call girls, you know, all kinds of crazy subplots and things like that. And yeah, there's not much else to say. Um, Suzuki, his style is. You know, he's gangster. He's really big on the Japanese gangster films, and this is, you know, probably the best of them all so far. Um, I know we've got a couple others. We've got Fighting Elegy tomorrow. Um, what else do we have? I'm actually kind of curious. Oh, Gate of Flesh. Gate of Flesh, Story of a Prostitute, which we'll get out into, like, in May, or, like, one of the last two we'll do this season. Um, any others? Oh, that's it. You know, those are the only, the only other two. And then we'll be done with Suzuki, all the Suzuki movies we have in the Criterion Collection right now. So yeah, Youth of the Beast, don't have anything else to say, so we'll just keep it right there. Um, I recommend this one highly. Um, if you're going to get a Suzuki movie, I would recommend this one. Uh, of course, we still got three more coming later, and uh, so maybe we'll probably ra we'll rate, the, we'll rate the Suzuki movies at the end of this season, probably part of the showdown, and I don't know. But anyway, for now, this is a great movie. A. Give Youth of the Beast an A. Uh, supplements, there's a short little interview with uh, Suzuki and an interview with uh, Joe Shi Shishimoto, I think his name is. How do you, how do you say this dude's name? I'm going to look it up. It's, it's Joe, Joe, Shishi, Joe Shishido, who plays Joe. Um, and he is, you know, just, he talks about, I guess the guy got face, um, he talks about he got like plastic surgery at some point you know, and he even though he kept acting and i guess it was like i didn't even recognize the guy's face is like a lot you know thinner um the reviews were doing with the interviews were done in 2001 i'm curious now if they're he, the guy's still alive joe shishiro oh, oh he's still alive yeah he's the he, um he's 82 wow that means that he was 30 man that means he was 30 at the time of the he was 30 at the time of the youth of the beast but then that means that he was, how old was he? He was 68 or so, I guess, when he did the 60 something or other, when he did the um, the interview. So, man, that's crazy. Um, he definitely doesn't look it. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I'll just say, Youth of the Beast. And then, of course, the trailer, awesome trailer, gives you the basic plot of everything. Gets you really hyped, very hypey trailer. And yeah, Youth of the Beast, great movie, A. Going to get it at the next sale. All right, and that's it for today. That's This is going to be a short, short video, not much else to say. So um, so tomorrow, tomorrow we got our other Suzuki movie, The Fighting Elegy. And then, and then once we get back from, and then next, and that'll be it for this week. Of course, you know, I'm taking off next week. Um, and then next Monday, Kachimusha. We're finally going to get to some Kurosawa. And then after that, and then Wednesday and Thursday, um, or Wednesday, um, next Wednesday, we'll have a cast de or. And then uh, after that, we'll have sous, touche pas, pas a gris, uh, gris bee, um, hands off the loot, which is on its way. And I'll probably pick that up after my trip. And then, but I also have uh, La Comare Seca, the Grim Reaper. So that'll be, that'll probably be next two Saturdays from now. 
And yeah, there's not much else to say. Um, as always, you know, like I, I mentioned that there may be a chance I will get to Kajimusha while I am on vacay, but probably not. So don't, don't, you know, don't expect it. Um, I'm looking here. No, I was, I was looking at La Comare Seca and thinking, well, maybe I'll just go out of order again because I might have, to, I probably would have time for a short review, but, um, who knows? Anyway, for now, that's it. Uh, so, yeah. That's it for me. Thank you for watching. Um, morals. Don't get involved with uh, gangs because, you know, it may blow up in your face. I mean, literally blow up in your face. And, uh, yeah, that's that's best of the best morals. Just don't get all caught up in that gang life. Make legitimate money, please. And, yeah, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. And we will see you on no, see you tomorrow for Fighting Elegy. And until then, goodbye.